PSD with you. Tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. In this video, we'll be looking at Nomad BSD rolling release. Uh, it's a different concept than I'm used to. I like to, uh, I'm not a great fan of rolling releases. I wouldn't use them on my desktop or production machines, but I can understand those who like to live on the edge. This rolling release is based upon FreeBSD 13, and I applaud the Nomad BSD developers for going down this route. They can test many things out in this rolling release and then feed it into the uh, stable branch, as it were. The stable branch being based upon FreeBSD 12, and this rolling release being based upon FreeBSD 13. Um, but right from the start, having installed Simple Screen Recorder, I get Cannot mix incompatible Qt libraries version, that one there, with this library version there. This is probably why I don't like rolling releases. But never mind. What we'll do is I will use FFmpeg. It's not going to be the best uh, quality, but it will have to do. Right. So yes, this is um, a relatively new release from Nomad BSD developers, and it's a rolling release, as I said before. And it says the first rolling release of Nomad BSD based on FreeBSD 13 is now available. Release on the 20th of well, the 19th of September. So we are pleased to present the first rolling release of Nomad BSD based on FreeBSD current changes. The RC script for setting up the network interfaces has been fixed. Support for setting the country code for the WLAN device has been added. Support for ZFS has been added to the Nomad BSD installer, which is pretty cool. The GPT layout has been changed to MBR, used by FreeBSD MemStick images. This prevents problems with Lenovo systems that refuse to boot from the GPT if the Lenovo fix has not been set. So basically, uh, some systems will uh, not work if you don't set it, and they won't work if you do set it. Support for multiple desktop keyboard layouts has been added. Auto configuration for running in VirtualBox has been added. The XOR driver for newer Intel GPUs has been changed from Intel to mode setting. A check for the default display has been added to the graphics configuration scripts. This fixes problems where users with Optimus have their NVIDIA cards disabled and use the integrated chipset instead. I'll just take the word for that. The latest version of Update OB menu now supports auto-updating the open box menu, manually updating the open box menu after packet deinstallation or installation is therefore no longer needed. And that's, a, that's a pretty cool thing. Support for configuring a multi-head system has been added. Some templates for starting other desktop environments have been added to Xinit RC. And the setup wizard and the installer have been improved. So yes, so not too bad. Uh, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I'll just move that across there. It goes without saying that video plays perfectly. No problem at all. I think it's nice and smooth. And I'm running this off the USB stick uh, at the moment. It will, of course, run a lot smoother if I was to install it to SSD or hard drive. But actually, off the uh, USB stick, it runs really fast anyway. Everything is nice and smooth and fluid. It picked up the NVIDIA card in this system, where no problem at all. I'm actually running the uh, I'm running it on the my main system at the moment. The test machine is slightly busy. So yes, um, we'll have a look at the menu items. I don't normally do this, but because Nomad BSD is sold as a complete package, uh, ready to go. The only thing I've added was Simple Screen Recorder, and as you see, Simple Screen Recorder doesn't work. Uh, with conflicting uh, libraries. 
And so some of the KDE-based applications also won't work. Uh, VLC, uh, et cetera. You know, they won't. The MPV video player won't work either. And possibly Octo PKG won't work. Oh, I'll just check that, actually. No. But that's fine. I'm Like I say, I'm recording it using uh, FFmpeg. So, out of the box, Nomad BST gives you a DSP mixer uh, and player, which I added to play some video files because the MPV one wasn't working. Uh, Asunder, Audacity, Cantata, Dead Beef, MPV, Simple Screen Recorder I added, VLC and XF Burn. The development you get Gini, or Genie, if you want to say it that way. Graphics you get GIMP, GTCam, Mirage, XN. Network, you get FileZilla, Firefox, HexChat, Mail, uh, Pigeon, Q Transmission, Sylphid, and uh, that will probably default to Firefox. And the Wi-Fi Networks Manager. Office, you get LibreOffice installed, and uh, Orage, Calendar and Global Time, and QPDF here. You get the settings, with the usual settings that I have reviewed before. System, bulk rename, blah, 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 Midnight Commander. Midnight Commander is a good addition. Uh, the Nomad BSD installer, if you were to put it onto hard drive, very nice indeed. I, I do like that. And then you get the various knickknacks. For those who are interested, you actually get an HP device manager. Now, I'm not going to test this on uh, the one that I've got because it's a network printer. I don't fancy unplugging it and bringing it over. But suffice to say that if you've got an HP-based printer, that would, could be very handy for you. If anyone does manage to try this out, I'd be grateful if you could uh, if you let me know, because uh, I'm really interested to see if that works. And you get the rest, which I've which I've covered before. So it's pretty standard Nomad BSD. Uh, it's all very smooth, very slick. The problems with the the system libraries, mm, you know, but I mean it's an initial rolling release, so. Uh, if I was to check and update the system in a couple of days, it probably no doubt fixed. So yes, an interesting development, I think. Uh, and really to be applauded, because they perhaps could get away with a lot of experimentation or see new features coming down the line, which will then feed into the current stable uh, branch, which is 1.2. And 1.2, it, to me, is brilliant. 1.2 was very smooth. Uh, I enjoyed using that greatly. Rolling release, well, you know, it's an initial rolling release. The version moniker is RR rolling release 130. So that's probably saying that it's on FreeBSD 13. And it is the 19, 2019, September 09 and the 19th. So um, plenty more for that, I think, coming down the line. And of course, you can check out the latest on uh, GitHub. See the development be 20 days ago, yeah. So very good. This is just a quick video just showing it. And uh, very nice indeed. I do like Nomad BSD. I think it's a very capable and very uh, slick version of a mobile free BSD operating system. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit that like button. And to make sure you don't miss out, please consider subscribing, as this really helps me help you.